Welcome to RR Lebanon channel. Mamluk period. During the Mamluk period, Tripoli became a central city and provincial capital of the Six Kingdoms in Mamluk Syria. Tripoli ranked third after Aleppo and Damascus. Citation needed the kingdom was subdivided into six wilayas or provinces and extended from Byblos and Accra Mountains south, to Latakia and al Alawayan Mountains north. It also included Hermel, the Plain of Akar, and Hone al Akrad. Tripoli became a major trading port of Syria, supplying Europe with candy, loaf, and powdered sugar, especially during the latter part of the 14th century. The main products from agriculture and small industry included citrus fruits, olive oil, soap, and textiles, cotton and silk, especially velvet. The Mamluks formed the ruling class holding main political, military and administrative functions. Arabs formed the population base religious, industrial, and commercial functions and the general population included the original inhabitants of the city, immigrants from different parts of Syria, North Africans who accompanied Kalawan's army during the liberation of Tripoli, Eastern Orthodox Christians, some Western families, and a minority of Jews. The population size of Mamluk Tripoli is estimated at 20,000 to 40,000, against 100,000 in each of Damascus and Aleppo. Mamluk Tripoli witnessed a high rate of urban growth and a fast city development according to travelers' accounts. It also had poles of growth including the fortress, the Grand Mosque, and the river banks. The city had seven guard towers on the harbor site to defend the inland city, including what still stands today as the Lion Tower. During the period the castle of St. Jill was expanded as the citadel of Mamluk Tripoli. The aqueduct of the prince was reused to bring water from the Rashin Spring. Several bridges were constructed and the surrounding orchards expanded through marsh drainage. Fresh water was supplied to houses from their roofs. The urban form of Mamluk Tripoli was dictated mainly by climate, site configuration, defense, and urban aesthetics. The layout of major thoroughfares was set according to prevailing winds and topography. The city had no fortifications, but heavy building construction characterized by compact urban forms, narrow and winding streets for difficult city penetration. Residential areas were bridged over streets at strategic points for surveillance and defense. The city also included many loopholes and narrow slits at street junctions. The religious and secular buildings of Mamluk Tripoli comprise a fine example of the architecture of that time. The oldest among them were built with stones taken from 12th and 13th century churches. The characteristics of the architecture of the period are best seen in the mosques and madrasas, the Islamic schools. It is the madrasas which most attract attention, for they include highly original structures as well as decoration. Here a honeycomb ceiling, there a curiously shaped corniche, doorway, or molded window frame. Among the finest is the Madrasa al-Bertasiya, with an elegant façade picked out in black and white stones and a highly decorated lintel over the main door. East Tripoli public buildings in Mamluk Tripoli were emphasized through sitting, façade treatment, and street alignment. Well-cut and well-dressed stones local sandstone were used as media of construction and for decorative effects on elevations and around openings the ablak technique of alternating light and dark stone courses. Bearing walls were used as vertical supports. Cross vaults covered most spaces from prayer halls to closed rectangular rooms, to galleries around courtyards. Domes were constructed over conspicuous and important spaces like tomb chambers, mirab, and covered courtyards. Typical construction details in Mamluk Tripoli included cross vaults with concave grooves meeting in octagonal openings or concave rosettes as well as simple cupolas or ribbed domes. The use of double drums and corner squinches was commonly used to make the transition from square rooms to round domes. Decorations in Mamluk buildings concentrated on the most conspicuous areas of buildings, minarets, portals, windows, on the outside, and mirab, qibla wall, and floor on the inside. Decorations at the time may be subdivided into structural decoration found outside the buildings and incorporate the medium of construction itself such as ablak walls, plain or zigzag moldings, fish scale motifs, joggled lintels or voussoirs, inscriptions, and makanas and applied decoration found inside the buildings and include the use of marble marquetry, stucco, and glass mosaic. Mosques evenly spread with major concentration of madrasas around the Mansuri Great Mosque. 
All khans were located in the northern part of the city for easy accessibility from roads to Syria. Hammams public baths were carefully located to serve major population concentrations, one next to the Grand Mosque, the other in the center of the commercial district, and the third in the right bank settlement. Major buildings in Mamluk Tripoli included six congregational mosques the Mansuri Great Mosque, al Attar, Tainal, al Uwaisiyat, al Bertasi, and al Torbat mosques. In addition, there were two quarter mosques ABD al Wad and Arghan Shah, and two mosques that were built on empty land al Bertasi and al Uwaisiyat. Other mosques incorporated earlier structures churches, khans, and shops. Mamluk Tripoli also included 16 madrasas of which four no longer exist al Zarayqiyat, al Attar, al Rifaya, and al Umariyat. Six of the madrasas concentrated around the Grand Mosque. Tripoli also included a kanka, many secular buildings, five khans, three hammams Turkish baths that are noted for their cupolas. Hammams were luxuriously decorated and the light streaming down from their domes enhances the inner atmosphere of the place. Ottoman period. Tripoli gold bezant in Arabic 1270-1300, and Tripoli silver grow 1275-1287, British Museum during the Ottoman period, Tripoli became the provincial capital and chief town of the ALA of Tripoli, encompassing the coastal territory from Byblos to Tarsus and the inland Syrian towns of Homs and Hama, the two other ayalets were Aleppo ALA and Sam ALA. Until 1612, Tripoli was considered as the port of Aleppo. It also depended on Syrian interior trade and tax collection from mountainous hinterland. Tripoli witnessed a strong presence of French merchants during the 17th and 18th centuries and became under intense inter-European competition for trade. Tripoli was reduced to a Sanyak center in the Vilayet of Beirut in 19th century and retained her status until 1918 when it was captured by British forces. Public works in Ottoman Tripoli included the restoration of the citadel of Tripoli by Suleiman I, the Magnificent. Later governors brought further modifications to the original crusader structure used as garrison center and prison. Khan al sabon originally a military barrack was constructed in the center of the city to control any uprising. Ottoman Tripoli also witnessed the development of the southern entrance of the city and many buildings, such as the Al Mualak or Hanging Mosque (1559), Al Tahin Mosque (early 17th century), and Al Torba Mosque (Mamluk construction), destroyed by 1612 flood and restored during early Ottoman period. It also included several secular buildings, such as Khan Al Sabon (early 17th century) and Hammam Al Jadid (1740). Demographics. Tripoli has an overwhelming majority of Sunni Muslims. Lebanon's small Alawite community is concentrated in the Jabal Mosan neighborhood. Christians constitute some 5% of the population of the city. Climate. Tripoli has a hot summer Mediterranean climate CSA with mild wet winters and very dry, hot summers. Temperatures are moderated throughout the year due to the warm Mediterranean current coming from Western Europe. Therefore, temperatures are warmer in the winter by around 10 degrees Celsius 18 degrees Fahrenheit and cooler in the summer by around 7 degrees Celsius 13 degrees Fahrenheit compared to the interior of Lebanon. Although snow is an extremely rare event that only occurs around once every 10 years, hail is common and occurs fairly regularly in the winter. Rainfall is concentrated in the winter months, with the summer typically being very dry. Offshore Islands Palm Islands Nature Reserve Tripoli has many offshore islands. The Palm Islands Nature Reserve, or the Rabbits Island, is the largest of the islands with an area of 20 hectares 49 acres. The name Araneb or Rabbits comes from the great numbers of rabbits that were grown on the island during the time of the French Mandate early in the 20th century. It is now a nature reserve for green turtles, rare birds and rabbits. Declared as a protected area by UNESCO in 1992, camping, fire building or other depredation is forbidden. In addition to its scenic landscape, the Palm Island is also a cultural heritage site. Evidence for human occupation, dated back to the Crusader period, was uncovered during 1973 excavations by the General Directorate of Antiquities. 
The Bakar Islands, also known as Abdulwahab Island, were leased to Adel and Kiradine Abdulwahab as a shipyard, since the Ottoman rule until this day a well-known ship and marine contractor. It was also known as St. Thomas Island during the Crusades. It is the closest to the shore and can be accessed via a bridge that was built in 1998. Bethlan Island's name comes from a plant found on the island and used to make brooms. Some people claim that the name comes from the word blue whale Belin in French that appeared next to the island in early 20th century. Fana Island is 1,600 meters 5, feet long and is the home of a lighthouse built during the 1960s. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.